now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Happy Tuesday. We're starting down there in Iron County where you're going to notice those cumulus clouds as we look west from the airport, Cedar City Airport, showing what well, could be some storm development there in Iron County as we get through the next couple of hours. The heat is on. Temperatures sitting in the 70s and Cedar City is just one of the areas that could face that general thunderstorm threat. It's from I-80 all the way down to I-70. We're tracking that potential with a few cells out there. We're still talking about that fire danger that's going to linger as we get through today and into the latter half of the work week. We already have warnings posted. Another system right around the corner and some cooler temperatures if you're not a fan of this above average warmth. 72 degrees right now in Tooele County. Live look at Erda. Cloud cover out there. Pretty shot as we look towards the west and we know that that's a spot that maybe could see a storm develop here. We've got this stalled front that moved in yesterday and we are seeing storms blossoming with the help of daytime heating to the north of that boundary, which you notice in the west desert. We can't rule out Salt Lake and Utah counties as well as on the eastern side of the state. So we are looking at that activity as we get pinpoint here. We take a look on the radar and you're going to be able to see from the west desert down into Milford near Delta. But we know a lot of those areas uninhibited, but Heading into Richfield, those storms tracking east also in the basin towards Duchesne and over near Castle Country. We've kicked up some activity and over the high country, higher terrain storms, most likely, especially in the south central mountains. And this is all due to a system that's passing through the state. Now to the extreme south, we have breezy conditions and then that thunderstorm threat for central Utah. Those breezy conditions are an issue. We do have a red flag warning in effect right now for the color country mountains. Now we talked about this yesterday and it's still out there because of the breezy conditions that you're seeing. We're gusting in the 20 mile per hour range. You can see the southerly wind, so exactly where that front is noticeable as you head to Richfield. You can see northerly wind behind the front and southerly winds ahead of it. So again, color country mountains with that red flag warning. Now the fire weather watch has become a warning, but this is for Thursday and Friday in the southern portion of the state. That does include the Mojave Desert, the Grand Staircase area and Washington County. So fire danger not going away. We've got very dry conditions right there on the southern border of Utah. And so any bit of wind or fire start would spread quickly. We get that elevated risk as we close out the work week. Okay, into tonight, the chance of those storms wants to stick around. You can see how the model clears them to the east. When we lose that daytime heating, things will relax just a little bit. Tomorrow, sandwiched in between two systems, we get a quiet day. Temperatures will be above average. We'll see plenty of sunshine and pleasant conditions. By Wednesday and into Thursday, we start to notice those changes. We get the warmth sticking around, but that's when our next system wants to drop in, and you see that evident in the north. Okay, so here's what's going on in the big picture. There's that cooler system. This is our Thursday, Friday storm. Very gusty winds ahead of it. That's going to open the door. It's an organized front, and we get significantly cooler air flooding in behind. It's going to knock those daytime highs down, noticeably so, to below average as we get out. Through the weekend, we get a warming trend, but we're keeping our eye on two different systems as we head into next week. We could get some active skies. Okay, 70s and 80s for tomorrow. 83 in Salt Lake, 80 in Provo, 90 in Moab, 82 in Cedar City, mid-90s in St. George. Really pretty Wednesday ahead of us, but then things change. As we head into Thursday, we do get the chance of some storms. It's going to be winds down in the south. Sunshine sticks around, and those temperatures tumble from the high 90s to the low 80s. So cooler air floods through the state. We warm back up towards the end of the weekend down south. Here's the Wasatch Front where we get our 80s dropping to the 70s. How about 60 degrees on Friday? That cooler air overtaking the Beehive State. Warming trend through the weekend and as we head into next week, fairly dry conditions for the next seven. But those fronts coming in will bring a change of pace and a change of temperature. To stay on top of the forecast, download that ABC4 weather app. It's really easy to do. You take a picture of this QR code, takes you right to the app store. You can download for free, and that way we can be there for you 24-7.